chain termination or dye deoxy procedure uh, it is the next method of DNA sequencing uh, and this method uh, replaced the chemical method of Maxim and Gilbert uh, because of its utility and it can be performed for large scale DNA sequencing. And this method was developed by Sanger and co workers in 1977. And this method it is used in conjunction with uh, M13 MP vectors. Agar aapko yaad ho ke M13 MP vectors jo hain, they are basically single stranded vectors. Or in ko use kya ja sakta hai, uh, single strand formation ke liye single stranded DNA ki amplification ke liye jin ko baat mein DNA sequencing ke liye use kiya ja sakta hai to hum ye keh sakte hain ki M13 MP jo vector ki series hai ye ek source hai single stranded DNA ko hasil karne ka aur ye jo single stranded DNA hai inko baad wale step mein DNA sequencing ke liye istemal kiya ja sakta hai in addition to M13 MP series vector, some other vector like P, E, M, B, L are blue script vectors that you may have already studied. They can also be used for this purpose. Dideoxy procedure or chain termination procedure, it is a procedure where during the elongation step of the DNA in the sequencing procedure, uh, the elongation or the addition of a further basis it is stopped. The reason is that uh, in case of uh, dideoxy method we are uh, although we uh, will use deoxy nucleotide triphosphate that are normally present in the DNA but in addition to that uh, dideoxy nucleoside triphosphate they are also used and here during the sequencing process we rely on the two capabilities of uh, DNA polymerase. Uh, first capability is uh, that it can synthesize a faithful copy of the single stranded DNA template. So that second strand of the DNA is produced. And the second ability is that in addition to normal base, it can also introduce uh, dideoxy nucleoside triphosphate. So this modified base it can be used as a substrate and inserted uh, during the elongation process. But as soon as it is inserted the further addition of nucleotide it is stopped. The reason is that at the 3 prime of dideoxy nucleoside triphosphate the OH group is missing that will not uh, catalyze the next reaction. So because of this reason uh, in the newly synthesized DNA fragment the addition of new nucleotide it is stopped. In chain termination procedure mainly we use clano fragment of DNA polymerase and this uh, clano fragment it lacks 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. And of course, for the initiation of DNA synthesis, a primer is also required. And here, primer may be some uh, synthetic uh, oligonucleotide of the uh, DNA. Here, it is the comparison of uh, normal deoxynucleoside triphosphate that uh, is 2 prime deoxynucleotide here. Which group it is, it is not present at the 2 prime end or site, whereas at 3 prime location, which group is present in the normal base. When we compare it with dideoxy nucleoside triphosphate, then it lacks OH group at the 3 prime end. So, this 3 prime OH group is missing that will not catalyze the addition of next nucleotide in the growing nucleotide chain. So in this way we can use uh, different dideoxy nucleoside triphosphates either for adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. So we can add modified nucleotide bases so that uh, the chain termination is there 
uh, after different time intervals. So in case of dideoxy procedure or chain termination method, the DNA synthesis is carried out in four different reaction mixtures that contain respective modified nucleotide base like it may be dideoxy nucleoside triphosphate for guanine or adenine, thymine or uh, cytosine. So four different reaction mixture they are used. Or just like I have told you that in every reaction mixture mein, uh, jab modified base aayegi to har step pe jo chain ki jo elongation hai wo ruk jayegi to is tarah se har reaction mixture mein hamare paas dna ke fragments aayenge jo ki vary karenge uh, length mein har kisi mein nucleotide ka jo number of bases hain wo different hongi what may be the reason the reason is chain termination uh, because of the presence of some modified bases in the reaction mixture. So reaction mixture contain normal bases uh, that belongs to R, all four DNTPs and some concentration of uh, didioxynucleoside triphosphate in a particular reaction mixture. So all four reaction mixture they are carried out or they are processed in the presence of respective didioxynucleotide tri phosphate. When reaction mixture uh, we manage or obtain after the complete reaction then we will uh, get a mixture of fragments that will be separated uh, by using uh, agarose or uh, polycrylamide gel electrophoresis and after separation uh, they are detected by a technique which is called as autoradiography. So this is the basic procedure of chain termination method. Suppose here this is the DNA fragment that we want to sequence and here we have a primer that is complementary with this 3 prime and so here this is the primer that we will add and this is the target sequence that uh, we will uh, elucidate in order to get the nucleotide base order. So when the primer is added, then the four different reaction mixture they are carried out, either for adenine, cytosine, guanine, or thymine. So all four DNTPs and their respective dideoxy nucleotides they are added. So uh, this amplification is performed in the presence of cleno fragments, and here we have different fragments of the target sequence like uh, here two guanine are there so here we have two guanine residue so we will get two cytosine at the end two fragments of the cytosine and in this way uh, different fragments for different bases like two for guanine three for cytosine and two for thymine they are being obtained. So in this way we will get a mixture of different fragments that will be resolved on gel electrophoresis. So in this way we will get a complete sequence of the bases. And finally this is the polyacrylamide gel autoradiogram that can show the sequence of different base pairs.